Hey everybody and welcome back to Let's Play... Welcome back to Dran uh, Let's Play Dragon Quest XI. Sorry about that. <laughs> um, so last time out, we headed to Octagonia. And it's now time for us to um, get in a bit of a fight. <laughs> um, we're heading into the... Um, uh, heading into the Octagonia um, marsh mixed martial arts kind of tournament. Um, so basically how this is going to work is that all the fighters, uh, basically everybody signs up and then they get split into pairs. Uh, uh, you know, they draw kind of balls from a box <laughs> uh, and each pair of numbers forms a team. Uh, and so we're going to find out who our team, team, who our, uh, team member is going to be. Look at that eclectic mix of weird looking people. Let's get on with it, shall we? Ha! Do you get it? Number 11. Same as the game. Uh, <laughs> so anyway, yeah, weirdly enough, we get picked out first. Yes, thank you. I'm ready with my big sword. <laughs> so to speak. Let's see who it is, baby. Okay, who's number eight? Who is it, number eight? Who's number eight? Oh, okay. Charmed, I'm sure. Hold on a wee <laughs> second there. So yeah, we get introduced. Got quite a unique voice, so yeah, we're probably uh, she's probably important, and so's uh, probably this old dude as well. Oh, I love that reading. <laughs> I don't know why, but I find that re I find that reading really funny. <laughs> you had a box of balls. <laughs> but anyway, so yeah, apparently he has a little bit of sway around here. Um, yeah, we'll find out more about this dude later. Um, but yeah, we'll find out more about this dude and also the uh, lady with the purple hair later on. Um. So yeah. Number eleven gets another pick of the So yeah, uh, basically the old dude and the purple haired girl basically are um Play fair, will ya? A guy I kind of have a deal where they're going to be placed together um for the tournament. So yeah, we have to get somebody else. Cheers, dude. <sighs> Fucking cop blocked. <laughs> right, anyway. Who will be fighting? Let's see who will be fighting alongside, shall we? It's number seven. Fighter number seven. Okay then, who's number seven? Who's number seven, baby? <laughs> oh my god, it's the champ. Uh, so, <laughs> so yeah, this is Vince. He's the uh, local hero, the people's champion. <laughs> uh, and he's uh, been the um, yeah he was uh, the, he's been I think um, if I remember correctly he's been the champion for the last few years and so yeah we're teamed up with Vince Vanquish I guess we've got a pretty good chance of uh, winning yeah he never opens his eyes <laughs> for some strange reason but anyway so now everybody's been paired off. We're with Vince. That's it, folks. Our teams have been decided. Now all that remains and so, yeah, is all that's left is to wait for the um, actual uh, tournament to get going. To I think in the actual um, in the actual tournament, I think uh, in the actual tournament section, you end up having to fight against three teams if I remember correctly over the course of the uh, over the course of the uh, tournament so yeah the first team will be fairly shortly so let's head down to the lobby so yeah basically at this point you can just continue the game pretty quickly um, go down to the lobby 
Um, we've got to talk to Serena, which will trigger a cutscene, uh, and then we can just go to bed in the it, in the inn, and then you can continue on the sto and then the story kind of continues on. Uh, well, I wouldn't want to go into two-on-one fights, <laughs> to be fair. She was here a moment ago. <sighs> Veronica's fucking gone away again. What's all that commotion outside? Oh. Oh, yeah, I think it would have been better here if they'd actually had some, like, a bit of noise there. Why like, if you could hear, like, Veronica saying something in the distance. Or if there was just, like, a, a bit of a sound effect, like a little crash or something. Um, it would, you know, it would make things more, it would, you know, it would be better, I think. But anyway. <laughs> yeah, and of course, <laughs> of course, Veronica picks a fight with one of the biggest dudes in, in, in the, um, <clears throat> sorry, picks a fight with one of the biggest dudes in the fighting tournament. Yeah, Underdigger. I don't know where that name came from. Uh, I don't know if it's... Because there was a villain in... Um, the first... Um, Incredibles movie. Showed up at the end called The Underminer. I don't know if it's anything to do with that. Probably not. Because um, the name itself is kind of a weird one. It doesn't really make a lot of sense. Yeah, so Vince steps in, showing he's a stand-up guy. I want to love this. Kev? Uh, Kev, is that you, mate? Kev? <laughs> is that you, mate? <laughs> I love that. He's kind of, uh, yeah. I'm sorry, you little squirt. He can't be, can't be completely nice, apparently. But, um, <clears throat> yeah, but I like, you know, I like that little thing there from Underdig where he's like, Kev, is that you, mate? Just get out there as quick. Get out of there as quickly as possible. So yeah, another thing to mention about um, Vince as well is that he works. Is that he lives at the local? Um, oh, he li he work he lives and works at the local orphanage and kind of his getting money through fights. Uh, kind of keeps the orphanage going and feeds the kids so yeah he's kind of set up here as being like pretty much the most perfect nice guy you could ever meet in your entire fucking life something else which is nice to mention as well that during the tournament when that's going on uh, you can't you don't pay for the inn you, you know you every time you use the inn <clears throat> sorry every time you use the inn it's kind of it's basically free for the duration of the tournament, so that's kind of nice. And here we go, this is the arena waiting room. You talk to that guy there by the door, and he will allow you to save, which I would recommend doing before you go up to your first fight. I mean, the fight is not hard, like at all. <laughs> um, however, to be fair, it is worth it to. <sighs> Uh, to be fair, it is worth it just to make sure you don't have to go through all the cutscenes and stuff again. So yeah. So we're taking on the Underdigger and the Abominable Snowman. Showman, sorry. The Abominable Showman. I like that name. But they don't really have a, na a, na a team name. It's just, you know, the Abominable Snow Showman and the Underdigger. Both, I, I always thought these two in particular as well have very, um, have very kind of WWE kind of wrestling character vibes. Put your tongue away. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Mind your language. <laughs> anyway. Chance of getting out of here alive. 
Okay. Sounds like a plan. And then all the girls are gonna be swooning over me. <laughs> You'll see. <laughs> the slurp is a little bit unnecessary. But whatever. Alright, time for the first round. We're going up against the Underdigger and the Abominable Showman. Time for a fight. So yeah, this first fight is really fucking easy. Uh, because basically... Yeah, they do hit really hard. Um, both of them hit pretty fucking hard. Yeah, I don't know what I was thinking here. Basically, the best way for the best thing for you to do is to target one first, and then just basically keep going from there. So yeah, let's get rid of these. I think these will go down in one hit. Yeah, the the um. The guys go down in one. The doppelgangers go down in one hit, so it's pretty easy. So he hits you pretty hard, but as soon as you take a, a pretty good amount of damage, Vince will start to heal you as soon as your health starts to get pretty low, so it's not really a problem. Um, so yeah, basically the, the Abominable Showman does like to use his... Um, Doppelganger attack quite a lot, and the doppel his doppelgangers don't do as much damage. And boom! The showman's down. And as you can see, because I'm down to low health, he gives you a dose of strong medicine, which perks you right back up. Um, also, something to mention as well is that. Um, it doesn't matter how much damage Vince takes, he will not go down. And he also hits pretty hard as well. He, he, he gets a couple of hits in every attack. Um, and so he causes a lot of damage. So yeah, like I said, you're two, two, like a hundred and over 130 damage there. And Vince is still standing pretty easily. Basically, with Vince healing you, all you got to do is focus on one, defeat him, focus on the other, defeat him. Uh, and it will be pretty, you know, the first fight is pretty That's fucking comfortable. <laughs> in fact, in terms of a, 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 a difficulty, the only one which I had any trouble with at all was the final matchup, which we're not going to see for a little bit. But, um,. You know, the rest of them were all pretty easy. Nice job, partner. You're tougher than you look. It's going for you. <laughs> hmm. Sounds like the next fight started already. So colorful, look like John Cena. <laughs> so yeah, let's have a look. So yeah, this is the two newcomers. And I like this little this little fight here because we see Eric, and we know Eric is actually you know from being in our party he's a pretty decent fighter. Um, his partner's not much good, so I think it's kind of cool that we have a this is pretty much just a, a really good scene to show just how strong she is um, because we know how strong Eric is and the fact that she's kind of. Dealing him, dealing with him pretty comfortably. Really <laughs> like that as well. He's, he's just, just like <laughs> he's just sit, he's sitting there going, "Ah, oh, you're doing all right, aren't you, kid?" <laughs> <coughs> My apologies. And she's disappeared. So, so yeah, I think it's kind of a cool thing to show just how strong she is to just kind of um and there we go we get the names rab and jade the it sh kind of shows how strong jade is that she can deal with eric so easily <laughs> so 
I like his face there as well because it's the first time where he's kind of you can kind of see right, a little folks. bit of a darker hint to him where he's kind of like yeah bounce. she ain't bad <laughs> you know he's kind of like doesn't want to uh, say anything nice about her but anyway Will Vince and his new through to the next round baby invincible and take the title again <sighs> Jesus Christ. Can you stop it with these puns? incredible run and pip the champ at the post. It's So yeah, you can kind of tell what they're setting up here at this point. But it's pretty much going to be us versus Rab and Jade as the final matchup. So yeah. But we've kind of seen how how strong Jade is and yeah, she's a pretty badass fighter. See you later, buddy. Chance, you and me. Anyway, I better go. The kids will be waiting for me back at the orphanage. So yeah, off he goes. Got to deal with his uh this orphanage. Yeah, and we're on the ground floor this time, so we can just head off and we can speak to uh what the rest of the gang. <laughs> and I love Veronica just giving Eric all sorts of shit. Just like, <laughs> kind of like. Look, I did the best I could, okay? But she's, she's not normal. <laughs> Eric's trying to defend himself here. Well, <laughs> oh god, I love Veronica and Eric's kind of um. <coughs> Sorry, I really do like Eric and Veronica's kind of um, back and forth. It's always really entertaining. Yep, here they are. We get to see. And it kind of shows how short <laughs> Veronica is. She, <laughs> even Rob is towering over her. And he's one of the shortest characters in the whole game. It kind of shows how tall Jade is, though. That she's, you know, she's even taller than Serena. Time for move on. Something you want to say? <laughs> hmm. Wonder what's going on there. What does she mean by that? And this is where it gets set up. To do with the missing people we heard about, do you? So yeah. Uh, basically, the, some of the fighters, uh, competitors in the tournaments, have gone missing. So. We kind of think at this point that Jade is basically saying you should keep an eye on Vince. Um, you know, strong fighter, so he could be uh, in danger of being um, kidnapped or in danger of going missing next. Uh, so, better keep an eye on him. But anyway, that's going to be it for this part of Dragon Quest XI. Join me next time, because in the next part we're going to be heading over to Vince uh, and, his, and the orphanage just to go check up on him. And then it will be the next round of the um, Mixed Martial Arts Tournament, uh, which we will continue going through. So yeah, see you next time.